and now people are taking marriage so seriously and people are real going ahead in joining legal marriages out of illegal ones. And here is what you must have missed at the wedding of Katikiro Peter Maiga's daughter when he was giving out her hand in marriage. Uh, hello, welcome, and thanks for taking your time joining us live on Progen Media TV. That brings the latest news and the latest updates in the country and across the world. Uh, it may be your first time to be on this channel, but just kind of do one thing, subscribe, turn on the notification button. You will be updated with each and every story. We come with it on board. Uh, let's take more look into some of these details and how Peter Maiga gave her daughter's hand in marriage. Uh, it was a moment of happiness at All Saints Cathedral, Cathedral Nakasero as Katikiro Charles Peter Maiga's daughter. Samantha Naziri wedded her longtime lover Ofono Emmanuel. Presided over by the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Kazimba Mugalu. Emmanuel is a son of former Tororo Municipality Member of Parliament, Honorable Apollo Yeri Ofono. And after exchanging vows in church, the couple, family, and friends headed to the reception at Kampala Serena Hotel. On 3rd of October, the couple held the traditional introduction and the ceremony was attended by few close friends and family members. So therefore, congratulations, Emmanuel and Samantha, upon reaching this milestone in life. And uh, it's not only that. Uh, Katikiro gave out her daughter's hand in marriage, but this has been happening. Uh, let me say two weeks, uh, two weeks ago up to now, people are real so serious into marriage. Uh, we had seen Nubian Lee getting married. Uh, we also saw uh, Mick Wine introducing the wife, something like that. But now people used to say that marriage is just a paper. And now why do people get married anyways? So marriage used to seem like a given or for heterosexual couples there is after a certain point in a relationship but recently more couples are opting out of traditional marriage and instead living together as domestic partners and common law spouses and a lot of people prefer these days to avoid weddings due to a bunch of different reasons including the stress of the big day and the financial burden that often accompanies traditional marriages. And aside from wedding aspect of marriage, some people just don't feel the need for their marriage to be recognized in the eyes of the law or believe that marriage is a social relic of the past. There is no right way to define your relationship to another person, especially if you don't totally believe in the institution of marriage or the tradition that go hand in hand with marriage. So therefore, why do you need the silly piece of paper anyways? But there are some notable benefits to tying the knot that you and your partner should consider before completely writing marriage off as a possibility for the future. Therefore, they should not hear that marriage is not a way to solve problems in your relationship. Significant long-term problems with, will persist whether you have a marriage license or not. So when considering whether or not to get married, don't think of it as a fix to any problems you and your significant others are experiencing. So therefore, marriage is a very big step and make it. And there is always that power of commitment. And as creepy as this may sound, getting the law involved with your relationship might make it feel more real and long term. After all, if you decide to get a marriage license, you have to get legally divorced, which can prevent any sort of wishy-washy feelings about commitment. And agreeing to get married shows a certain degree of commitment to one another that isn't equaled by any other informal marriage uh, arrangement. And marriage proves commitment to your partner forever, and that is barring anything out of the ordinary, which can make both partners feel more at ease and secure in the relationship. Having this kind of security and trust in the relationship can help your relationship or marriage flourish and grow, knowing that you're committed to one another through marriage and can also help you and your partner rise above conflict and rough patches 
knowing that you have a lifelong commitment which will strengthen your bond through thick and thin, sickness and health. It is among others, but the thing is, are you getting married to a right person? People make mistakes, people hurry, but you don't need to hurry in this. Take your time, get that person and get the right person. But it's always not easy. How would you know that this is the right person and this is not the right person? Uh, well, that is it for now. And thanks for watching Progen Media TV. The topic was about Katikiro giving out her daughter's hand in marriage. And this happened at the cathedral in Nakasero yesterday. Uh, well, thanks for watching Progen Media TV. We'll keep on updating with more of this. You just kind of do one thing, subscribe, turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching Progen Media TV.